my approach to to painting is looking at this flat space and trying to create a deeper space in it by using really simple spatial relationships between forms and color. When certain forms interact with one another, they create this kind of third relationship that kind of implies a deeper space and is something that speaks about the inner workings of our perception and are reflecting that inner architecture of who we are. In the piece that I made for UT Austin entitled Tras los Ojos, which in English means behind the eyes, I was interested in the idea of the anatomy of perception, the way that light penetrates the eye and then it's read by the, the retina and flipped by our minds. And this singular thing that we have that not only perceives the world, but also informs the, the context and informs all of the stuff behind it. And so with Tras los Ojos, I liked the idea of at UT, here is a, a building filled with all these scholars and people that are investigating these kind of unseen forces at work within our inner selves. So a lot of the forms are kind of like uh, radiating kind of triangular shapes that are intersecting with circular shapes. And then coming out of that, there's like a lightning bolt area that's in the middle of the painting. And when I think of that form, that lightning bolt form, I think of kind of the way that your eye is traveling across the painting. You know, when I went to art school, I was taught about European abstraction and nobody ever gave me a sense of like my own people and the work that they made. I kind of took it upon myself to do that research. A lot of the forms are, if not directly taken, they're adjacent to a lot of the forms that I see in that early work, in the early weavings from Peru and gold work from Colombia, and examples of early Andean abstraction. For me, the greatest part of being an artist is the freedom to explore any idea that I want to approach. In some ways, I think the freedom to kind of rewrite histories and rewrite the ways in which we relate to each other and to the history of art. So to be a player in that realm to me is, it's an honor to be able to go into my studio every day.